Hey everyone, this is a follow-up to the previous video where we introduced the concept of nested if statements. And in this situation, we are doing something specific to logging if logging is true. This is a perfect scenario where you might want an if statement inside of another if statement. When we're logging in, we print welcome Caleb, and we only log Caleb is logging in in the terminal in this situation if logging is true. So because that output is specific to that logging variable, this is a perfect scenario. However, in certain situations, you're only going to do one thing based on numerous variables having a certain value. And in this situation, a complex conditional is more appropriate. And what do I mean by complex conditional? I literally just mean using logical operators. So AND or OR to make two conditionals within a larger conditional. So the code we have here is not ideal for a complex conditional because we want to test that logging variable separately. However, we're gonna go through an example where logical operators might be more appropriate. So let's say we're making an app to determine whether you're invited to a party, right? We got so many friends, we don't have time to think through each one of them. So what we do is we gather data about all these people, which obviously would take way longer than just thinking about it. But let's just say we gather data about these people using their Facebook accounts. We can automate this system. So to save us time, we write some automation software in Python to skim everybody's Facebook profile or social media profiles, do some advanced machine learning, and we're going to come up with a way to invite or not invite people to the party. And we are going to base whether the person is invited on three descriptive features, their age, whether they like to dance, and whether the person is fun. So we're going to hard code one example, but you could do this in a loop with data you read from a file if you really wanted to. So let's go age is 20, fun, mm, we'll go with false, and then likes to dance, we will go with true. So notice that we have three variables as the input, but the result is only one output, whether or not the person is invited to a party. In this situation, you don't really need to use nested if statements, you can just put it all within one, because you're only going to have essentially one body to execute, which is to invite them or not. So I'm gonna come up with a complex conditional, which you can type out. I'll just say if age is less than 30, so we don't want no old people at our party, ugh. Or, you know, if they're really fun, maybe we'll let them come. So we'll say or fun. It's a Boolean, so we don't have to compare it to anything. Now I'm actually going to use parentheses here, and this is not to do bad Python syntax, but I actually wanna group these with an and likes to dance. So this is our complex conditional, we'll break it down in a second, but we will say print you're invited. And just to be nice, we'll give a an else, just to be really clear that they're not invited. Print, get away you freak bag. Perfect. We don't want anyone confused whether or not they're invited, so we're just gonna put that there. Now I use parentheses here because anytime I mix ors and ands, I find it very confusing on what the actual output is going to be. So although this is possible, and we can run this, and it says you're invited, the reason it says you're invited is because this is true, which makes this or true, and the other side is true, likes to dance is true, so the and evaluates to true, and we ultimately get invited. So this is an example of a complex conditional, and you can break this out into a nested if statement, so it's gonna look something like this. I'll actually copy this and just modify it. So we'll take this, get rid of this section right here, and inside of this if, we're gonna have another one saying if likes to dance, then we get invited, like so. Now we have to consider where the else is gonna go. We will put it right here. So if they don't like to dance, but they manage to get this far, then you say get away freak bag. So you can use nested ifs to be a little bit more clear on what things you wanna check first or what kind of outputs you wanna do for each section. So for example, we can be more specific in here and say, oh no, you can't dance. And then we can have another else for this outer if printing you are not invited. Sorry. So it allows us to be a little bit more specific and we can replace this one here now. So let's run this and see what happens. It still says you're invited, but let's say we set this to false. So we no longer like to dance. Well now it's a little bit more specific. It says you can't dance and go away creative cloud. Do you want to die? Looks like you do, all right. You can dance. So when we use nested ifs, we can be more specific in the response we give 
and the ifs can be a little bit more clear when we're doing really complex conditionals. So the ultimate question is when should you use a complex conditional as opposed to nested ifs? So my rule of thumb, and this is me, if I am mixing ors and ands in the same expression, the same conditional, I will split that out into nested if statements. That's just because it reduces errors on my part because I get confused when I have a bunch of ors and a lot of ands. Then I have to really, really think about what is gonna happen when we have a bunch of different variables. If we have just ors or we have just ands, then I can put it all in one and I'm totally fine. The other scenario when you would want to use nested ifs is if you need to be more specific with the responses, such as this one here, oh no, you can't dance. If we just had one really large complex conditional and it evaluates to false, it might not be as easier to see which one one cause it to be false and to do a nice response like this here. So that is my two cents, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you prefer complex conditionals with just one if statement or do you prefer nested if statements? Another thing is I really try to avoid going really deep with the if statements. If I'm getting three layers or four layers deep, then I start to think, hmm, how could I redesign this code so I don't have to do this? So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Stay tuned for the next one because we're going to be talking about nested loops. Scary, but kind of cool. Trust me. Stay tuned.